Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're going to take a look at the newest release of Manjaro Budgie. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we're producing, you can support us by becoming a member to the channel, buying us a cup of coffee, or better yet, becoming a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to zip on over to Manjaro's website which is Manjaro.org. I'll be sure to include that in the description below. And when you come over to Manjaro.org, you can click on Try Manjaro. And when you do, it'll bring you to the download page that has XFCE, KDE Plasma, and then GNOME. So, to get Manjaro Budgie, you actually have to go up top here where it says Additions, Community, and then you can go over, you can download Budgie, Cinnamon, Deepin, Mate, Sway, i3, whichever one you want to. We're going to be working with Budgie today. So go ahead and download that so you can take a look at it. And then if you look at the base features on the website, you've got addition, features, donation, shop, news, and more. And then you've got security packages, mirrors, sponsors, partners. And then, of course, most importantly is the forum. Should you have any problems, you can come over here to the forums and get your questions answered. So let's go ahead and close out of this. So if you do download Manjaro Budgie, throw it on a USB, open it up in a virtual box. This is the screen you're met with. You start off with the Manjaro Hello. And this I really like. I wish more distributions had it. A lot of them do, but not all of them. But it's just a quick way to get good information right off the bat. You've got a README over here under Documentation, Release Info, Wiki. And then on Support, you've got Forums, Discover Software, mailing lists, and in another project, you've got get involved, development, donate. If you like what the project's doing and you want to help them out, you can zip on over and throw them a couple dollars, and then launch installer. So I'm going to go ahead and close the Manjaro Hello right now, and I do like the background it comes with out of the box. If you do want to change that, just right-click on the desktop. You've got budgie desktop settings or system settings. I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and when you bring it over here, You've got style, you've got desktop, you've got fonts, you've got Raven, you've got windows, you've got top panel, and then you've got auto start. If you go over to the desktop, you can adjust if you want desktop icons or not. You can turn those on or off. Active mounts, home directory, trash. Now, if you just want the home directory and no trash on the desktop, you can click on desktop icons and then turn the trash off, and then you'll just have your home directory. Then you have fonts, Raven, windows, different ways to customize the look and feel of Manjaro Budgie. So, let's go ahead and close out of that. Let's go ahead and go back to a right click. Let's go to System Settings. Then you've got Network. You've got Bluetooth. You've got Background. As you can see, you have quite a few wallpapers out of the box that look really good. Manjaro's always been decent about awesome looking wallpapers and their distributions. So, if there's something in there that you like better, you can just come down here and say, okay, I want that one. Click on it, and it'll apply it, and it's a good looking wallpaper. I'm going to go ahead and stick with the one it came with out of the box because I think it's pretty decent looking. And there we go. Then you can adjust notifications if you want. You can come over here and pick whatever applications that have notifications associated with them. Like, let's say, add and remove software. You open it up. If you don't want it to have notifications, just turn them off. Then you don't have certain applications that are notifying you all the time. But that's the way you can customize it yourself. You figure out what notifications you want to be notifying you. Come down here, turn them on, shut them off, and you'll be good to go. And then you've got search. Search works across files, add and remove software, calculator, calendar, lollipop, terminal. Now, as you start adding other programs, those that are available to use the search function will actually put themselves here, and you'll be good to go. Now, if you want to be able to come over here and actually move one up or move it down, you can. You can move up the terminal, and you can put these in the order that you want them in. Then you've got applications. This shows you all your applications, if they have searchability, if they have notifications, if they have default handlers that have specific links for them. And then you can come down here and just kind of customize that if you want to. So let's go back. You've got privacy. Location services is currently off. If you wanted to turn those on, all you'd have to do is flip on that. And then specific applications that you download that need location services would actually populate this area, but you would also have to allow them access to your location services. So it's a handy little feature. I like to keep that off because I enjoy my privacy. So I'm going to go ahead and go back. We come down, you got your online accounts. You can set up your Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Foursquare, Microsoft Exchange, whatever online accounts you want to associate with your install of Manjaro Budgie, you can. It just comes in handy because when you download apps 
that use any of these online accounts, they will automatically associate themselves with that account and you don't have to take the extra step of logging in specifically on that app. Then you've got sharing, you've got sound settings, you've got power settings, you've got displays, just different settings you can come down through here and customize to make operating system specifically the way you want it. And then down here to about. Shows that we're on Manjaro Budgie. Shows your hardware, memory. And then, of course, Budgie is based on GNOME 40.4, which is the most recent GNOME. So let's go ahead and close out of that. As you can see, it comes with one bar up top. And up here, you've got time and date settings, calendar, preferences. You've got power here, sound, battery level, and then notifications. Let's go ahead and open up notifications. And it lets you know that Lollipop scans disabled and missing collection. We'll get to that here in a moment when I show you what Lollipop is. So let's close out of that. Then you've got internet and you've got available updates. Let's click on that. And right now on updates, I have a total of 1.5 gigabytes in updates. One of the first things I'd want to do is come in here and update my system. But before you do that, let's go over here. Let's click on the three dots up top. Go to preferences. Go to third party and you want to make sure you enable AUR support and you also want to click on check for updates and then you want to go back to general and before you update or install software of any kind you want to go where it says official repositories use mirrors from worldwide you want to refresh those mirrors so click on that that'll take anywhere from two to four minutes but then when you go to do your updates or download applications you're going to be on the most recent links and it's going to go the fastest possible so let's go ahead and close out of that and then you could come over to browse if you wanted to. If you wanted to do a search, you just come over here and do a search. If you were looking for something like OBS, you just put in OBS. And there's OBS Audio. I would want to put in OBS Studio, actually. And there's OBS Studio. And then, of course, you've got OBS Git. If you want to go that route, you've got different ways. These are all in the Arch User Repository. Now, when you do install Manjaro Budgie and you do the refresh of your worldwide mirrors like I just showed you, you would actually see OBS listed here under the official repositories. So that's how you get software. So let's go ahead and close out of that. You come over to left on the bar. You've got Firefox. You've got your file manager. Let's check that out. There's your file manager. Let's move that over just a little bit. Now, if you wanted to, you can make these over here a little bigger just by hitting that drop down arrow and clicking on this right here. You can adjust that to the way you want, but it's just a typical lightweight desktop file manager you've got your usual suspects over here and then you've got your home folders right here so it's quick it's fast it stays out of your way so you can get things done so let's close out of that and let's check out the terminal now when you open up terminal what i want to do here is i want to see if they have htop installed which they don't let's see if they have top and let's go ahead and maximize that and right now, I have three gigabytes of memory issued to this machine. At present, with just the terminal open, we are using 662 megabytes of RAM. That's definitely something to take into account if you're using older hardware or you're using a newer machine and you want it to fly. Let's go ahead and close out of that. Let's come up to the application menu. You come down, you've got accessories, you've got files, HP device manager, software token, text editor, Wall Street control. You've got games, which has Steam installed out of the box. Then you have graphics, G-Thumb, Image Viewer, Internet. You've got Firefox, HexChat, Pigeon, Thunderbird, Transmission, you get Office. You've got Only Office installed out of the box. Let's go ahead and check that out. If you're not familiar with Only Office, it's another option for you to use as an Office Suite. Now, it is not 100% open source. It is about 90% open source, 10% proprietary. And when you first open it up, it's going to come down here. It's going to say, Create an Only Office Cloud. You don't need to use that because the desktop editors that you have downloaded do not have to be connected to the internet. But the first thing I want to do is I want to adjust some settings here. I want to go to scaling. I want to run that up to 150 and then I want to make it a dark theme because that's what I like. I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And as you can see, everything gets bigger. First thing I'm going to do is open up document. And as you can see, up top it says document one dot doc x. So it is Microsoft compatible out of the box. So if you're using Microsoft Office, you can move right over to this and really not miss a beat. So this is document. This is like Microsoft Word. And then you can go back over. You can open up spreadsheet. And as you can see, it opens up book one dot xlsx, which is equivalent to your Microsoft Excel. And then you can open up presentation. And it opens up presentation1.pptx, which is equivalent to Microsoft PowerPoint. So that's something to take a look at, too, if you do download this and give it a test drive. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of OnlyOffice, back over to App Manager, Other. 
You've got add and remove software. You've got Manjaro notifier settings. You have your Manjaro settings manager. Let's open that up. This has got locale settings, language packages, kernel. If you want to update to a different kernel, you can go in here and do that. You've got user accounts, time and date, keyboard settings, and then hardware configuration. Are you running an NVIDIA graphics card? This is where you'd come to install the drivers for it. Right here, it says video virtual machine. But if you were using an NVIDIA card, it would pop up video dash NVIDIA. You would just right click on it. And as you can see, this one says remove and reinstall. But on the NVIDIA, it would say install. You just click on install. It would install your NVIDIA drivers. You would be good to go. So let's quit out of that. Back over to the app menu. Programming. You have icon browser, sound and video. You have Procero Disk Burner, Cheese, Lollipop. If you're not familiar with Lollipop, Lollipop is pretty cool. It's like your own little music management library. You can come over here. You can have home. You can show by popular albums, random albums, recently added albums. You can come over here. You can click on that. You've got preferences, equalizer, about Lollipop. Then you've got this arrow. You can enable party mode, configure, continuous playback. And then there's also the ability to download information about the music, which is your album covers and song lists and things like that. So this is definitely something to take a look at if you download it and give it a test drive. Back over to the app menu, budgie desktop settings. We already looked at that at the beginning of the video, your Manjaro Hello. Seuss Studio Image Writer. Let's say you're using Manjaro Budgie or any flavor of Manjaro and you want to try a different distribution of Linux. All you have to do is download it. Get your thumb drive ready. Once it's downloaded, you go in and open up SUS Studio Image Writer. You put in your USB device. It would be listed right here. Then you go to your Downloads folder. Open up your Downloads folder and wherever it downloaded to, just click on it, hold, drag it, drop it, and you can burn it to a USB and be trying on a new OS within 10 minutes. So let's go back over. System tools, time shift. Time shift is definitely something to take a look at. If you've installed Manjaro Budgie using the BTRFS file system or BetterFS, ButterFS, whatever you might call it, you would want to click here. If not, leave it on rsync. Then you click next. And over here, it'll just say select the snapshot device. What we would do is pick the hard drive that it was installed upon. Then you would click finish and it would actually bring you to this screen right here now here you can restore delete browse or create see where it says create right there it would show your hard drive where you have manjaro installed and you can create right there just click create it'll create a snapshot of your system and you'll be good to go that way in the future should you have any issues or have problems with your system and you need to restore to a point in time where there were no problems with it you just zip on over to time shift and do that now, I did have a viewer the other day ask a question stating that, what if my system won't boot? Then how am I going to refresh it? Keep the USB drive that you install your operating system with. That way you can boot into the USB drive basically in a safe mode, open up time shift, and do all the work from there, and you'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Back over to the app menu. And come down to utilities, calculator, character map, disk usage, font, screenshot, system monitor, and terminal. So that's pretty much it. That's a look at Manjaro Budgie in a nutshell. It's 21.1.2. What do you think? Is it something you might download, throw in a USB, put in a virtual box, and take for a test drive? Let me know in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we're producing, you can become a member to the channel right here. You can buy us a cup of coffee or, better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links are in the description below. Thank you for watching my video and I will see you in the next video.